Hello friends, the real estate market is undergoing what I would call some dramatic changes. The cause of all this can be debated, but most would agree that the rapid interest increase by the Federal Reserve is the main reason, followed by inflation in everything from groceries, gas, electricity, insurance, building materials, labor, and much more. Let me give you an example of how this works for real estate prices. An average family in our area earns $58,000 in 2021 figures. The rule of thumb says to spend no more than 30% of the average income on shelter. That's $17,400 or $1,450 per month toward housing. An average house in Charlotte County was about $350,000 two years ago when the interest rate was just below 3%. Today, mortgage rates are just below 8%. So if a family wants to sit with the same mortgage after a 20% down payment, then the same house needs to be sold for $200,000 today, which is a 42% price cut. Of course, you can say people just need to earn more, but if that's the case, then the average income in Charlotte County needs to increase to $82,360. That would be the biggest and fastest salary increase in Charlotte County's history. So while the average income might increase a little, something else needs to move a whole lot for the balance to come back. This is what most buyers and sellers don't realize. We are staring at a big shift in the market happening right now. Charlotte County, year over year from August 2021 until today, saw an increase in inventory. In August, two years ago, we had 831 units for sale. That's both single family homes, condos, townhomes, etc. In August 2023, we now have 2,466 units for sale, an increase of 296%. And that's all good if the sale follows, but that is not the case. The actual sale of units in the same period declined by 17%. So sellers are rushing to the market while unfortunately buyers are on the sideline. If you want to stay updated with the latest market insights, simply hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for tuning in.